me and Chris decided that summer to start training together, and he was on a regimen of meeting me at the gym on time. He didn't want to come pick me up for a training session after my car broke down. When I called and said I'm at the gym, he said his car broke down, asked me to come and pick him up. He tells his story to this day. And uh, he was like, I'm not gonna come pick you up. I'm not gonna try to help you beat me. I told him, no, I'm not coming to get you. I said, get in here now or I'm out. Uh, he was mad at me because I didn't pick him up. He was 10 minutes from the gym and I went ahead and worked out without him. Yeah, baby. T99, gotta lock your stuff up. I was trying to become Mr. Olympia. Chris was reducing me to being a chauffeur. I'm not one of the guys that's gonna go pick you up and bring you to the gym in order to help you beat me. But if you meet me at the gym, we'll battle in the gym and it, it's a free for all, you know what I mean? And uh, to this day, he's still upset that I didn't go pick him up. You gotta get to the gym yourself. And I was like, fuck you. I ain't training with you no more, man. <laughs> but training with Chris, I knew how to cancel out his strength. I was never trying to be a power lifter, so I would take him to another level of fitness. We trained faster. I knew that he packed the weight on the bar, so I want you to get 15 reps, because I knew he was messing around with like eight repetitions, sometimes five. When I'm done, Chris is laying on the ground. You know, for me, it was to try to knock him out, was to physically take his stamina away from him. I was called the cardio king. Chris Cromier was very strong on back. So we'd start off with pull-ups and I'd burn him out on pull-ups before we ever got to our first exercise. So I liked the idea that he was stronger because it made me train a little heavier, but he was scary strong. And I knew not to go into the deep end with Chris Cromier when it came down to strength. You know, I love Sean to death, man, because like I said, I always, he always told me when I was young, like, you're never gonna be able to beat me. You're never gonna be able to beat me, <laughs> you know? And that made me really strive to try to beat that guy.